Hey guys, this is Kirk from Acid Bite, and I'm back with another very exciting tutorial. This time, I'm going to show you how to use overlays and blending modes in LumaFusion. So LumaFusion is, a, is an app for iOS. Um, it's essentially a clone of Final Cut, and it has a lot of the same capabilities. You can do a lot of really interesting stuff here. And most of our packs that we make have a special iOS version uh, with specially rendered files that are sort of more compatible with the iOS system. So for the sake of today's tutorial, I'm going to use our Acid by Cinemarkers pack, the iOS version, and show you how to use that in LumaFusion. So of course, the first thing that we need to do is import our assets. Uh, in the upper left, you can see I have my linked folders. And if I go down here, I can click Add Link to Folder. And this will open up the hard drive of my iPad where I have all of my packs downloaded in my Downloads folder. And I'm going to go into the CineMarkers iPad folder. And I'm just going to hit Done. And now I've got the folder here in LumaFusion, which is pretty great because I not only have the assets, but I can also look at the tutorials which are included in that download. So as you can see, we've got three different folders here, alpha transitions, overlays, and stills. Stills are essentially PNGs of sprockets and punch holes you can use for overlays. And after that, we've got the alpha transitions, which are files that come with a pre-rendered alpha channel. And that means that part of the image is going to be already transparent. So I'm going to select one of these and drag it down onto my timeline over the cut that I have between my two pieces of footage. And actually with these alpha transitions, that's all you have to do technically to use them as a transition. So I'll just play it again. And so you can actually play around with this a little bit. Um, if you go into the clip settings, frame and fit, uh, all the way at the bottom you have this option called blending. And in here you can choose a blending mode. I always like to use the mode which is called difference. Um, it does a lot of pretty crazy stuff with the colors and usually gives you something very nice. Oh, and as you can hear, um, all of our assets actually come with a unique piece of sound design made specifically for that clip. So you don't have to worry about searching online for weird MP3s. You know, we provide that for you. So now let's take a look at our overlays. Uh, these do not come with a pre-rendered alpha channel, and they're actually rendered on black. But I'm going to show you how that's not a problem. So let's also grab one and drag that onto our timeline. Um, I'm going to use this as a transition again, so I'm going to make it overlay with my edit point here. And then I'm going to select it, go to clip settings, go back to blending again. And this time I want to use the blending mode screen, which is here. So what screen mode will do is actually make the black parts of your image transparent. It's only going to leave behind colors and values that are brighter than black, and those are going to become overlays over your image. So the effect you get here is going to look like you painted over your video, so to speak. Okay, let's take a look at another kind of asset. Let's go with this heart here. I'm just going to grab that again and overlay it on the timeline. So I'm going to click on it again, go on my clip settings, go back to blending. Uh, but this time I am going to choose multiply. And multiply is the opposite of screen. It's actually going to make the white parts of the image uh, transparent. Yeah, so you can see that's also making uh, another interesting effect. Uh, so to sum it up, guys, for the overlays here, the interesting blending modes are going to be difference, multiply, and screen. Multiply removes the white of the image, and screen removes the black parts of the image. And with just those three blending modes, you're pretty much ready to go. But, um, you know, get creative with it and, and try out all the other options. Um, even layer these assets on top of each other. And, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for downloading. See you next time.